Okay, now I want to take you back to something you said earlier, mm -hmm. which is that people don't know what they mean when they say the word God. Yeah. Um, people have actually said this to me a lot. I said, do you even know what you mean when you say the word God? Yeah. You know, you talk about relating to him, you even pray to mm -hmm. him, you call it a hymn, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, the but but what, what, what do we mean by God? Who is God? What is God? I mean, if God is something that is beyond this world, I mean, how, how can we even begin to conceive of something like that? Yeah. I mean, it's true. Uh, as, as uh, it's written in Psalms, in the Tehillim, lecha dumiya tehila. I mean, the only praise we really could give God is silence, stillness. But we are humans, and we've got this issue of yeah. being humans. And so yeah. we, we need to have some terms in which we could speak of God, mm. knowing all the while that we are speaking in borrowed sense. Um, and so the way that Maimonides puts it out, the way the Rambam puts it out is, is he will not use the term God when he opens the discussion at the beginning of his Mishneh Torah uh, on purpose, so that a person doesn't insert it with some other idea, he talks about Matsui Rishon, primal existence, that which was before all things, the first entity. Yeah? And then he develops, well, what would that be? Yeah? Well, you couldn't have two firsts, by definition. You wouldn't have something that, was, uh, that occupied space or time, by definition, because it's first. So... It's not in anything, it's not uh, living by anything, it's not a contingent being, it's a necessary being. Also, by definition, if it's first, then it doesn't rely on anything for its existence, mm. and so on. And when we begin to absorb what we mean by that entity, we begin to understand God. We begin to, at least in human terms, understand what we mean when we say God. And so essentially, we're not talking about something that exists we're talking about existence itself, if you could say such a thing. Yeah? Something that exists is always contingent. It exists because of. Existence, capital E, is the very force of existence itself, if one could say such a thing. Right? What being is. And therefore, the Hebrew um, expression of this entity that we call God is yud he vav he, which simply expresses being. So in Hebrew, to be is lihiot was, haya, is, hove, will be, yiye. It's the same letters, it's the same root. Yud, he, vav, he is existence, self, capital E. Well, that takes God out of the box. And when we realize that all that is only is because that is, that it is one, that it is the source of all things, and that there's only one way that things could go in terms, yeah, that it's not drawing from two sources of being, it changes the whole way. So God do. is the source, the powerhouse of existence yeah. itself. That's how you're defining it. Mm -hmm. That's how I'm defining it. It's how we've always That's how we define it. how we define it. Okay. Um, so where do all but these... But that, that entity obviously would defy definition in reality. So, right? so we're borrowing the terms in order to be able to discuss it. Right. So all yeah. these terms of God being all loving, all powerful, mm -hmm. all knowing, mm -hmm. these, you're saying these are borrowed terms. Sure. That doesn't really define him or his essence. We don't have words we with which to words. define such an entity. Right. Because all but, these words are finite. So we borrow them knowing that we're borrowing them. Right. And we are connecting as close as we can to that entity. So yeah. that's what and it is. So, and we understand we the, that, in our, that in our understanding of it, God uses our terms, right? You know, when you feel like there's connection and there's flow and uh, things are well, and what do you call that? Love? All right. So I love you. <laughs> you know? so, so we can that's never me. perceive the essence of God. No. Never. We, when we say that... You know, it's interesting because the Rambam doesn't ask us or doesn't uh, present this idea of believing in God. He talks about knowing God. Mm. Knowing God. You know, Harrison. And it's all a question of experiential knowledge. Mm. Yeah. Da'at in Hebrew is experiential knowledge. Well, not just that I'm learning about God, but that I, I am experiencing the force of existence impinging on me. And how can we have a relationship with this entity then? The, the, the source of existence? Because we recognize existence. We recognize my own existence. And we recognize that there's a source and that it is constantly expressing itself in all that is. And so my awareness of that, that's my mode through which I connect. And when I experience that expression, and I know myself as an expression, I'm able to recognize that there is, there is existence that's shared here. And, um, and the more that I open myself to that, the more that I, I lean into that, the more that I care about how that works mm. and what keeps it away from me yeah, is the way that I should.